Good afternoon, Manufacturing All-Stars, and welcome to this episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, you are going to learn what makes Plant PAX a modern DCS. I'm joined by Dave Rapini, our business manager for Plant PAX. Cheers, Dave. Salute. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Ah, good. Now, to start off with a quick base definition, you know, what is, you know, not plant packs? What is plant PAX? Yeah, I was say, you did that perfectly. I plant wanted to make sure I got PAX. it pronounced the right way. <laughs> yeah, so plant PAX is really Rockwell Automation's manifestation of uh, the integrated architecture. So, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about the integrated architecture, we talk about connected enterprise. So plant PAX is really the manifestation of that, how it gets delivered. It's mm -hmm. really the system of all those different components. It's put together in a system delivered as a system mm -hmm. with with you know guaranteed performance and and a known uh, sizing and scaling rules so that when you deliver an architecture a full DCS architecture you mm -hmm. have confidence that uh, it's going to perform the way you want it to perform so it's really Rockwell's offering in DCS yeah and, and I'm gonna play devil's advocate a little bit here because I, I worked in Houston for a while and you know when a lot of people think of Rockwell automation they think you know PLCs they think parts supplier you know how can how, how do how do, they, how do we combat that a little bit, to say the least? Yeah. What, what would you say to someone that's like, you know, Rockwell's not a DCS, or at worst, you know, you're just a PLC-based DCS? You know, we've been doing DCS content for a long time. We've, right. we've been mm -hmm. doing really, really distributed control systems, really are just simply control systems that are widespread across large areas with a large amount of I.O. We, we've done that for years. Mm -hmm. uh, what we haven't done is provided a, a, a great way to package that into a solution as a system. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing with Plant Pay. We provide a system version of that architecture. So we still have best in class components, so you yeah. can still buy best in class visualization or historian. Mm -hmm. um, but with Plant PAX, we bundle that together into an architecture so that it looks and feels and is very seamless of how that system works together in one as one big unit. And, and take me through an example, you know, what, what differentiates Plant PAX and what, you know, what type of results might someone see, whether that's through an implementation or just using it in operation as well? Yeah, so we call ourselves the modern DCS, right? Mm -hmm. Which kind of ties into, to, into that. So we really think we're a big disruptor to the market. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of our competition trying to chase us right now to try to catch up and, and some of that differentiation, you know, if we just talk about one of the first ones, you know, plant-wide automation, having a common control platform. Mm -hmm. You know, Rockwell owns about, you know, uh, when you when you go to any process uh, facility, you're gonna find a lot of Rockwell content in that plant. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. 60, 80% of the content on the skids, on the equipment, on the automation is Rockwell right. content already. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so having a DCS that integrates very cleanly to that solution, to those skids, to that equipment, mm -hmm. uh, in a common platform is just huge. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it saves so much in terms of training for your operators because mm -hmm. everything looks the same on the skid that looks the same on the DCS. The library is the same, so maintenance guys know what they're looking for no yeah. matter where they're at in the facility. Mm -hmm. that, those days of a disparate control system where you've got you know 17 different control systems in there that are special. Mm -hmm. for those needs are pretty much over with nowadays. Mm -hmm. we've, got, we've got a much cleaner solution that gives you a much, much more efficient, lower cost uh, integration point. Yeah, and I remember just from my days with within working within the process industry where that skid integration, where you said, you know, over 50% of that's coming uh, coming in as Rockwell equipment already, just makes that integration process easier. I mean, do you have a metric to associate to that as well? What what kind of time or money that saves? Yeah, you know, we've looked a lot at that um, and, and, you know, it's a wide gamut of how those things integrate mm -hmm. to different DCSs and some of the DCS vendors out there provide specialty cards uh, to do integration to different vendors so you need all these custom pieces mm -hmm. of code or custom cards to make that integration work um, surprisingly a lot of them still do hardwired mm -hmm. so a skid will show up and they'll tell the OEM you have to provide these physical outputs and they'll physically wire them into the DCS mm -hmm. and the cost of just running the copper alone is just huge so we can see uh, oftentimes in solutions like that 80 90 percent reduction in the cost to do that integration just because you don't have to f run copper for that architecture mm -hmm. um, so you know having a common platform throughout the infrastructure means that they know how to talk so the skid shows mm -hmm. up it knows how to talk to the DCS mm -hmm. they both have the same interfaces the same interface cards the same mm -hmm. ways to, to integrate and they just work yeah 
No, I love that. And you know, just as a final wrap up, what would be a call to action for someone to learn more about this modern DCS solution, Plant PAX? Where can, get, uh, where can folks go to learn more? You know, certainly our web page is the best place to go, mm -hmm. www.ab.com slash uh, process. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a ton of commercial literature on there. There's videos available for you to look at and see what the modern DCS is all about. Awesome. And I'll have a link to that below this video. And there's one more thing I got to mention before we wrap up. Not to mention, we've got these really sweet. Oh, plant definitely. Plant AX socks. So, actually, you know, I think I've got mine on right now. So, make sure you check that out. I don't know what other process platform has socks that go with them, but... Comes free with every installation. <laughs> Love that. Well, hey, Dave, thanks so much for being on the show today. Thanks, nice, Chris. Cheers. Great. And for those of you out there, stay innovative, stay thirsty, and we'll see you back here on the show real soon. Cheers. Salute.